Hello everyone, Doug here with Air Hydropower. Uh, just wanted to take you through the Myo 67 platform. This is Mac Valve's solution to field bus communication uh, for pneumatic valve stack. So here we go. Uh, down here we can see we're using the 92 series uh, for this solution. Uh, our most commonly sold valve um, for uh, valve stacks, valve assemblies here in, uh, in this scenario. And the uh, beauty is you can use the same 92 series you have been using uh, on Mac Connect and other manifold types. Um, so same, still the same great uh, valve you've been relying on. Uh, we're just using a different base for that communication. So uh, I'll get into that in just a moment. Um, as you can see here, we have the Ethernet IP module. They also have the EtherCAT, PowerLink, Profinet, and Modbus TCP. So we can hook you up with any of those uh, communication modules. Uh, in this case, we're just using that Ethernet IP. So uh, off to the right-hand side, this is our, our valve section. Um, so we can handle up to 32 solenoids uh, in any combination, whether it's the single solenoid or double solenoid. And uh, so 32 solenoids in, in all. So 16 doubles, 32 singles, or any, any combination. So here we've got two singles, two doubles. So you can see we've got six solenoids of the total 32 uh, capable. Uh, we've got eight amps available for all 32 um, solenoids. Um, half amp max for each channel or each solenoid. Uh, and also, even if you max out with all 32 solenoids, you still have six watts available uh, for each solenoid. So that, that gives you plenty of power to still give you that industry leading um, forces, uh, shifting forces, high shifting forces in the valve. So we, we just, it's great that they left the integrity of, the, uh, of their standard valve here. So, um, so all right, I think that's good for there. Uh, just to make sure you're aware there are multiple series that they've got available. Um, 36, 46, and others, uh, but for here we're just showing the 92. And, um, and to be clear, the uh, electronic side of the platform stays the same regardless of the valve series. The only thing that's going to change is this valve side, uh, the bases and of course the valve, but all the modules will be the same no matter what valve series. Uh, makes it very easy for, for stocking and part replacement. So uh, getting to the electronic side. Uh, so we've got the Ethernet IP here. Uh, all the um, uh, characteristics of the platform, uh, it doesn't matter if it's Ethernet IP, EtherCAT, whatever, uh, you're still going to get these same characteristics. Um, so starting off with why we've got two ports here. This is because uh, this platform is DLR capable. Uh, so on a DLR or that ring, um, device layer ring, uh, it's for basically you put you hook up your two ports here to connect the whole loop, um, and it enables you to have that um, uh, the analytics and, and feasibility where if you've got a wire uh, wire cut off or uh, problem in one of the devices, uh, it, it's not going to kill your whole system here. Or from there that point out, you've got that completed ring to basically take over. Um, so uh, both of them are in use for DLR in this case. Um, we're not using the DLR, so we just need to uh, communicate directly back to our PLC, our little touchscreen uh, ProFace unit up there. Uh, so we just need the one COM port. So that's what you see here. Uh, going down to power. Uh, so on here, you want to be thinking there's actually two power uh, systems. We've got the valve power side, and then we've got the electronics power side. Uh, so you can actually have two power supplies uh, coming through this one cable and that would enable you to uh, basically shut off your uh, the valve side so you'd shut off the function of your machine uh, for safety purposes but still have all the analytics and your electronics safely going in the background to keep that going so um, that just makes it a little bit easier for uh, for um, setting up your system for safety uh, safety reasons um, that's, I think that pretty much covers it for the valve side, the comms module. Um, so let's get into the other modules that you have. Uh, so, um, oh, I guess real quickly, just be clear, you've got eight amps for your valve side and then eight amps for the electronic side. Uh, so going into the other modules. So here we've got the digital IO module 
and then we've got the uh, analog this is the uh, current module and then we've got an analog voltage and then we've got the power plus module so let's get into some details here on this digital IO block uh, you can see there's eight connections there's actually uh, you can get up to two uh, IO uh, per port with the five pins here so you can actually have up to 16 IO on each block and this is a uh, highly configurable really uh, you can come in with this one part number you have the same module you can flip between PNP and NPN and you can also uh, determine whether your uh, left side and right side are independently configurable to outputs or inputs and so everything is either PNP or NPN and then you decide uh, for each side of four whether they're going to be inputs or outputs uh, so on in this scenario uh, the left side we've designated as four uh, for inputs and on our right hand side we've designated for outputs uh, so very quickly you can see we've got a uh, prox uh, sensor up here put my finger over it and you can see uh, the input light come over there and we've got that going over to a solenoid so I can take my and you can see the light up there as well take my finger off all the lights go off and uh, we've got our little input there um, and so on the right hand side uh, we've got some outputs uh, so in this situation uh, I can show you you know we can trigger our outputs up here on the touch screen and you see the lights all the outputs come on uh, and now you know we've got our outputs on and I'm just going to show you another nice feature here so this I've just jumped this right shorting out this output and uh, now I'm gonna screw it in all the way and you'll see once I get it in there up oh, we've had a fault it's obviously a short uh, and you can see if we had the DLR uh, going you'd see it's it's giving you a signal there that we've got a problem um, we aren't worrying about that right now because we've only got the the one uh, port communication you can see hey we're still going good uh, for um, for communication and everything else is still live uh, you can see our input is still firing no problems there it's only this port that is showing the fault and you can see I'm gonna unscrew this so hey we've gone we've troubleshooted we have figured out which uh, output it is we've corrected it and we've got just a few seconds to reset our system so we're gonna reset our system here and we're back and live and going so it's just a, a nice feature that they've designed in here to where you have a fault and uh, you can quickly reset it without disturbing the rest of the system um, on here uh, these are all uh, half amp uh, for each um, output as well input or output as well uh, on to the uh, analog um, uh, module so uh, once again these are configurable as well so you've got four connections and each one is uh, independently configurable whether it's an input or output um, and so and, and actually you can see the uh, the pinouts on um, on all of these depending on uh, what you're doing input or output and so you've got the the current module the voltage uh, module or for your uh, analog input outputs uh, and half amps for all of these each of those as well and then lastly is your power plus module so this is just another uh, module for uh, safety right we up, up at the regular comms module we talked about how you can separate or isolate the uh, you, you know your valving from your electronics and here gives you uh, an added layer of protection as well so you can have uh, there's six IO uh, so actually there are six connections up to 12 IO uh, just like we had the two IO per channel here we can do the same thing on this power plus module um, half amps per channel and uh, and so what happens is you know while the communication on this is still running through the main power um, the actual power to each of these channels is coming from whatever power you bring into this source. Uh, so this is just another way of giving you that uh, ability to, um, to shut off certain functions, valves, IO, whatever you need, um, based off this power that's coming in, this separate power from your main. So uh, overall, you've got these four great additional uh, modules to have, your digital IO, um, 
your analog voltage current and your uh, power plus module. And uh, all of these, you can actually get up to 12 modules can uh, be put all together on your uh, mile platform. Of course, it's just limited by your, your eight amps overall. And um, I think that'll do it for today. So thanks for uh, joining me. Hope you got a little bit of uh, insight from our, our Mayo platform and looking forward to helping you implement it. Thanks very much.